Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn with Sunil. Today we are going to learn English workshop of a famous poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Before that, I request you to subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon. Therefore, you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. English workshop stopping by oat on a snowy evening warming up first question where did you go for a picnic recently answer recently we went to murud janjira hari hareshwar raigad etc second who all accompanied you answer my classmates and teachers accompanied me third why did you select that picnic spot answer we selected that picnic spot because they are famous places they have historical background the places have scenic beauty and refreshing climate next what games food sites did you enjoy there answer we enjoyed many games we played in sea water we enjoyed seafood we saw takmak tok Jagadishwar Temple, Ganga Sagar Lake, etc. Next, what do you feel when it was time to return home? Answer: We felt nervous and sad. We did not want to return back. Next, look at the picture and frame questions. A. Where are the trekkers trekking? B. How many trekkers are there in the picture? C. What are the equipments used by the trekkers? D. What challenges they have to face? E. What do they get from trekking? Next, form group of four to six students. Each student should close his or her eyes as the group leader reads aloud the following lines. The students try to create a picture in his or her mind. Later, each one gives a heading for each description. A. Bright blue sky, soft white clouds sweeping by, tiny specks of birds flying high, sun playing hide and seek behind the clouds. Heading in the company of nature. B. Miles of smooth barren land, sparkling sand stretched till the horizon. in waves like falls thorny cacti propping here and there an occasional cluster of palm provide a shady spot a caravan of camels moving a line in a distance heading a visit to a desert next such a figurative description that creates mental pictures in the mind of reader listener is called imagery It is a poetic device that enhances the poem. I wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high over fells and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood. they flash upon that inward eye which is the place of solitude and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils william wordsworth next compose in your group a 4 to 6 line poem which contains imagery i watch the waves crash in breaking on the shore all their anger dispensed on the ocean floor I look at the sky so blue sun shining so bright spreading heat and happiness with its blinding light 